everybody, Psycho StarCraft here. Platinum League game. We've got Simon. Name's Dipstick. Part of the Seiko clan. I'm gonna call this guy Simon. It's gonna make it a bit more exciting. Apparently, this is a long ass game. So I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. Interestingly enough, every time I play this map, I seem to almost always get the bottom spawn. I don't know if anybody else ever picks that up sometimes. But I always seem to be playing from that south side. Kind of gives me that feeling where I prefer to play from bottom to top. It almost seems like you get more vision up than you do down. Just a weird way of perspectives there. It brings me back to my brother back in the day. We used to play fighting games together. and He'd always be player one, I'd be player two. So that means one person's always on the left, one person's always on the right. We played that way so much that he actually didn't really know how to play on the right very well. So we used to always get upset at me if I jump over him and play from the other side because he didn't know what to do. That's my relationship with my brother. Anyways, Dipstick's gonna come here, scout, and see two racks inside the base. He's gonna do it! Run! He is gonna do some pretty decent scouting. Is this three racks? Three racks opening. Now that is interesting. Now, if he doesn't get a bunker down, I'm actually gonna be very surprised. I would actually, you could probably put a bunker down. Expand and be just fine against something like this. Because uh, there's no gas, there's no tech, he's not dropping into your base or something like that. Uh, but as we can see, it's more just a macro ploy, it doesn't look like he's building a giant pushing arm anytime soon. He is getting his gas down, but he's back at home. He might have been able to get damaged that. If he made like eight marines and just walked up here, he might have been able to do alright. There's one marine that's going to scout what's going on, and Dipstick just playing like a total boss here, not afraid of anything. That would be, I think Simon got enough to see the starport there. Yeah, and there's his engineering bay going down. Lots of marines. So it looks like it's going to be a cloak opening. That's why if you got a full wall off, you might as well build your starport and your factory over on this side. I mean, that little marine scout was enough to essentially let Simon know to throw down an engineering bay. Might not have got that otherwise. And he may have still got it because he's opening up with so many marines is silly. Um... And I don't know if I completely agree with this. We'll see if he gets any damage done. That's 12 marines. That's, what, 50, 100, 600 minerals. It's a command center and a factory and a gas, essentially, uh, for that price. So if he doesn't get any damage done, this is going to kind of be a bit of a waste. Cloak and Banshee is on the way, which, once again, might not pay off too much here. He's not getting an upgrade or a missile turret with that, so maybe he knows his timing. There's his missile turret. Lots of marines in a bunker. That'll take all this stuff on pretty good. Banshee's on his way. Cloak's about halfway done. And the tank is coming out, which will shut most of this down. And this is kind of interesting. It might just be a play to shut down an expansion, a low ground expand. He sees the bunker, uh, so he should know not to run up there with these guys. The, the way this kind of works is it's very hard for the Terran to move out and take the expansion then. But because there's tanks on the way... If he can get a tank into a good spot with the marines behind it, I think he's going to do alright. Dipstick isn't necessarily planning on expanding too soon, I don't think. His minerals are building up. Nope. He's playing extra safe. And that missile turret in his mineral line is not going to pay off at all. There's been absolutely no tack out of Simon here. Pure barracks opening. You do not see that very often. This Banshee should be able to come in here and shut this down. Good pick off. Actually, canceling this command center wouldn't be a bad idea either. He, going for a bit more damage is generally more smart. And because everything is building upgrades right now, he's actually going to focus down the stim pack. Kill marines. Yeah, he might as well. No, not the bricks. Like, two-shotting marines isn't bad. Now run. Great. Now fight. <laughs> Turn around and fight. Oh man, I, I love watching. The, up here, these marines obviously aren't doing anything. This banshee is putting in some serious work here. Uh, Dipstick told me this was a weird ass game when he sent it to me. So I'm, I'm not too surprised. He didn't cancel the stim pack. That would have been really nice. Marines trying to fake the Banshee out, but it's a while. You can see how much energy your opponent's command center has. This Banshee could probably fit right here and start hitting at some of these guys. Another command center is going down. This one's been cancelled. Kills a Marauder. Now that you don't see very often. 
Now, if you get this much success in, sometimes it's worth it just to get a second Banshee out, but he's already moved into Viking production. I prefer to get one Viking and then a Raven out. A Raven can do so much good for you um, going into the low ground here. Where's the tank? No! Dipstick's good. Oh, and he salvages. Siege up. Oh, man. Great snipe there. Um, I, I swear to God, this is Platinum League, guys. All right, I, I promise you this is supposed to be Platinum League. The units-wise, uh, Dipstick's almost double the workers, but there's two command centers going down behind this. This Viking isn't going to get too much done. I'm not too sure what his purpose is. With Stim out, he doesn't want to lose that, so hopefully he doesn't just throw it away. If you take out all that forward, get just take an SUV down there and build a bunker. Actually, his Banshee lived with 22 kills. Not bad. More factories going down. I'm always of the mindset that you should have your command center down before you start building extra factories. I mean, Dipstick's got to spend his money. A thousand in the bank. Like, yeah, there you go. Another command center. Spend your money. If you're playing up against Bio, I'm not necessarily... Well, I guess he's going Bio Tank. I was saying, if he's going straight up Mech, which is what I usually get from this, you're better off getting Hellbats out than trying to get Bunkers and Marines because your upgrades aren't going to overlap as well. But we can see it is going to be Marine Tank coming out of this year. Units-wise... Well, we should see with the uh, triple mule production that Simon should get back in this game pretty fast. We'll mine the hell out of this base in no time. Banshee is back in action. There's going to be lots of cloaks. Blue flame. This is a weird build. Marine upgrades plus tanks. Blue flame. Yeah, why not? That's why these... Oh, that's not his upgrade. Ha, huh? that's that guy's... Ah, oh, I'm an idiot. Anyways, that's why I say bunkers... He doesn't have any marines to put in these bunkers. They don't really do him any good. Yeah, you can always remove them, but... Uh, this is strange. I guess he's going to planetary up his base, which is also fun to do. I mean, he's building it there first before there. You might as well build it there and make it a planetary. Uh, but whatever. Where's that Banshee? This Banshee should be getting into action here soon. It's going to lost its window. Could have denied this even longer. Bunch of idle workers in here. We'll speed it up a bit more. It doesn't look like these guys are attacking each other anytime soon. Oh, there's a banshee just doodling. Oh, he did get that at the cost of a pretty big stim. Maybe this banshee just clo just you know sitting around waiting for a third. This is so strange. I'm I'm glad he got these gases down in advance, just in case at some point he does decide to mine over there. Units wise, Dipstick is still up a ton in economy. Lots of Hellions. This is where you should get down. Yeah, you got three factories out. You got an armory in place? No armory yet. And start missile turning. You got these this minerals. If you're there you go. If you're playing against bio, you need the missile turrets. It'll take two guys, you know, five minutes to build all those missile turrets, but whatever. At least he's building them. Supplies are starting to even up here a bit more. Finally getting another command center in place. Dipstick hasn't been keeping up with his worker production here. He should still have a pretty big lead. He does have his three CCs. Well, four if you... Is this an orbital? No, okay, it is a planetary. Maybe he took after my games of I'm going to try to play without ever attacking. That's a fun way to do it. Oh, man, nobody's doing anything, though. More scans going down. And I don't know exactly what Simon strategy is. He's finally got a starport out at the 60-minute mark. Man, times on ladder have changed. I remember when Platinum League used to mean something. Wow, that's a nice little pickup. Run away. Run away! I don't know whose scan that was. Oh, yeah, I didn't add in the stuff for showing the types of scans. What's up with this SUV? Well, I guess you can see what's going on. A dipstick. I mean, when you play against somebody like this where Simone is not attacking at all, yeah, you're playing mech. You might as well take the map and siege up everything and go nuts. I like that SUV trapped in there. That's hilarious. It's nice to kill those guys off if you ever catch them. Triple command center. I guess this is Dipstick just kind of fooling around a bit. And if you don't like me speeding it up, tough. This game is a lot of just standing around. Finally, looks like he's got enough to come out. He might be able to catch this before it's all finished. And that's quite a big investment that he's going to lose. Cancel. Cancel's one of them. Get a planetary and two tanks over here, so it's not going to be pretty to fight into that. Lots of tanks at the front. Need to spread those out. 
Need the missile turrets. This bio army is 2 ones. I mean, it could be worse. Mech army, though, is just 0 1. Not using those armories. He's got the minerals and resources, too. That's why it's nice to put those hotkey 0. I like putting my upgrade facilities on that. That way, you generally don't forget about them as much. And Simon's just heading home. Like, he really didn't get that much damage done. Like, he killed two, 800 minerals worth of stuff, and I mean, that's something. Um, oh, man. No wonder this game's like three quarters of an hour long. Don't walk the widow mines into the scan. That's one lucky little widow mine. I love using way more widow mines now when I'm playing mech. They just are such buggers. Lamo. Um, dipstick one A. They didn't even one A. He just A moved. He probably could have taken those tanks. That was uh, that was silly. There's no tanks at the front. Simon is playing terribly, but he's still getting lucky somehow. This is when you gotta rally all the factories inside of your base. Uh, Dipstick's plan, I guess, is to slowly come back. Look how stimmed up this is. Use the Vikings and snipe the medevacs. Snipe the medevacs. Uh, Dipstick's taking a sweet ass time. Might as well lift your buildings and run at this point. He's lolzing about it, but he's still gonna lose every single thing inside of his base. He's gonna try to pick up and run? This is where your Vikings need a lift! Lift the Vikings! Oh no. Surprisingly, he only lost one medevac and all that. Whereas if these Vikings were lifted, it might have been losing a few more. Move command of all his bio on the way out. Probably could have sniped a tank or two. Yeah, they just won. That move command. I think he's supposed to be move command. Um, but I still don't think Dipstick can beak just yet. He is, he is down so much in supply. But at least he's still got that missile turret ring. And his upgrades are going. He's got almost nothing that he can build stuff with. Uh, but at least he's got them upgrades going. Um, if you're in this position as Simon, just go and start killing more stuff. I know for some reason he likes to just hang back at home and not do anything, but uh, I think he's got the opportunity to. So he's down to, well, he's got two mining bases. How many workers is he at now? 28. Considering his opponent's only been at 43 this whole game, that's not terrible. I wonder if that was trying to bait out Widow Mines with this one medevac. Uh, just throws away the rest of his SCVs. Um, that base is down. Well, he's got tanks here, at least. He's, <laughs> he's one-basing it. Oh, man. Uh, I've seen some comebacks in my time, but this could be pretty impressive. He's got a planetary and an orbital to his name. At least he's got his factories back going again. Is he going to push at this? Come on, do it. Oh, man, I thought Simon was terrible. I was sure he was going to push at it. Uh, this is where you should be investing into more Widow Mines as well. That splash damage, pick up drops, you know, whatever. Uh, Simon's going home. This is such an interesting style. Like, he's just like, I've got one attack I'm going to do, and then I'm going to leave. One attack, and then leave. Doom drop time. Taking another base, missile turrets down. I, mean, I guess Simon doesn't have to be in a rush. At least he got them upgrades. Uh, he's got another base up again. How many workers is he at? 18. Cool. As soon as I see the red blob on the blob on the mini map move across the map, I just know that it's uh, it's time to speed up the replay again because nothing's happening. He's got his own tanks now, though. That could be a bit of a bugger. He can at least start shelling away at things. That is a really, really weird place for that sensor tower. It's all right. We'll work out for him, though. Would I mind still being a bit of a bugger? Those Widow Mine scouts, those are, sorry, medevac scouts for Widow Mines. It's pretty interesting. Has he got one control group? No, he's got two control groups here at least. We're we'll able to get a bit more vision by having those. Supply Depot wall off. At least he's got no minerals in his main. He doesn't worry about that as much. Starting to build some workers again. Nothing. 
Nothing. Simon doesn't want to do it. Big stim. Sorry, these medevacs have so much energy because they've done nothing for the last 20 minutes. This is classic A move Terran. Viking? Sorry, Hellions are actually going to get out of there. This is where Ravens are also a fun thing to mix in. Most people who play like this don't know how to split their armies very well. What the hell? Well, they could have killed SCVs, but I guess they didn't really want to kill SCVs. Nice morph, actually. You don't pull SCVs to fight your Hellbats. He actually gets one. Meh. Vikings could probably be doing a bit of poking right now. Red Blob is doing nothing. He's essentially maxed. Maxed upgrades, maxed everything. Uh, but doesn't... Oh, there's the Ravens. Yummy. Like I said, people like this generally don't know how to split. This is where the Raven Seeker Missiles... He got so many. Just spam them all, run away. If he chases your Ravens, he will lose everything. I know, because I just posted a video about killing everything with uh, Seeker Missiles. Still just dancing. Hellions are going to get down here. There's no planetaries. Mass CCs that don't have upgrades. What's the scan about? Killed a few things. Oh, these more more barracks. I mean, why not? I mean, Simon's doing what he should have been doing like 20 minutes ago, but somehow, somehow this game's still going on. Nice dance of the mech. Does Simon still have the same amount of workers? Well, he's at 35 now. There's actually a lead right now for dipstick and workers. So that means Simon Army is just stupid. Double planetary, double orbital. Looks like a young Sean Copen out there. I would love to see him go right up the middle. Not the best use of Seeker Missiles, but cleaning up tanks, very nice. He doesn't have that many more, I think, in his composition, so might as well. More bio. Oh, man. I don't... Is this... How does Simon win games? He never attacks. He did that one attack uh, that rightfully should have been stuffed. And it looks like he's... Like, what does he do at this point? He's just sitting around getting upgrades. Upgrade scans and takes the whole map. He might as well have expanded over here like 20 minutes ago and mined out his opponent's side of the map. Dipstick is going to be maxed here in a second. He's going to be supply blocked. Oh, he's got CCs about to finish up. How many ravens he got in there? Five. So great because a lot of this is marauders. PDDs are going to be very, very helpful against that. Is he going base tradey? He is going base tradey and I don't... I don't understand. Dipstick's coming home. I might be okay to base trade, but uh, unfortunately the mech's pretty immobile. And he probably doesn't really want to have to give up. Well, I guess he can leave his tanks there. This is where if you're a bio player, you dream of that. You don't do a big drop on everything. He's losing a ton of his Vikings here. Actually, he did do some splits. I am actually moderate to somewhat impressed. That one raven just decided to end itself. Don't lose the bio. So the bio. The ravens. Oh, once again, I guess that was just Simon's thing. He was waiting to catch the Terran out of position. Terrible siege up timing, but uh, I think it's still going to work. I guess it worked. There's so much stuff here for Simon, but his economy has been so crap. 35 workers that uh, he's not remaxing very fast. Dipstick doesn't have an economy. Workers, yeah, he's at 29 workers. He kind of has to win with what he has. Let's 
siege all the things. Wow, that so did not work. PDDs. I think he has to siege up here. I'm surprised he's fighting in tank mode. Uh, he's losing so much stuff, and he doesn't have stuff. At least in siege mode, he can camp the production. Don't lose the ravens. That's what happens when you A move with units that don't attack stuff. I don't know the purpose of not being in siege mode. There we go. The problem is, these units can come out right on top of everything else. This is kind of half-assed working. One tank at a time versus six marauders at a time. Simon actually is mining stuff. It would be nice if he had more workers. I mean, auto turrets are fun and everything, but I don't know if that's the best use of the energy right now. Kill some production. Oh, where's... See, just a couple medevacs. If Simon ever watches this, get some medevacs out and drop on the tanks. Don't let it end this way, Simon. Is there, is there any units being made behind this? Lots of idle workers. If, if Simon could have just killed this army, he would have been fine. I can't believe he's rallying one unit at a time to their death. It's games like these that make me wonder uh, why some people I know who are much better in like Gold League and Silver League and stuff. Guess do what damage you can. These are it's three three tanks. These oh no. <laughs> uh, that's just sad for me to watch. Like he's got the money and he just leaves the game. Oh my god. I guess that's why uh, Dipstick told me this was a silly game. <sighs> Sego Starcraft. Thanks everybody. I'll talk to you later.